Hello Manuel, here's your first instructional video. The first thing we want to do is dial in your swing anchor. So we have some swing anchor refinement drills to do. You know, one thing we noticed is that, you know, when you, well first off, when you performed the rear anchor test, you actually swung and you fell completely off balance. It was impossible for you to stay in balance and play good shots as you did that. When you actually performed the full front anchor test, you went ahead and swing, swung and then you fell backwards in it. So that let us know that you know, your anchor alignment somewhere behind that full front anchor alignment. When you did the feet together and you swung through, your head actually bobbed forward and moved up. So again, that shows you that we're somewhere front side of the pure center anchor alignment. So you're somewhere in between front anchor and center anchor. So what we want to do is test to see you know, where exactly you are you know, in, that, in that alignment. So the first thing we're going to have you do, get set up to a ball like you're going to do the center anchor alignment. And from here, you're going to pull the, the right foot back until the toes of the right foot are even with the middle of the left foot and then you're going to create about a six inch gap between them. From there put a little bit more weight on your front foot and go ahead and just play some half shots and a few third shots to get the feel if you can maintain balance and, and play good golf shots from there. First refinement test is what I call the left to center test or the front side of center test. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check what we call the mid front anchor test. So for this one you're going to pull your right foot back till the toes are even with the heel of the left foot and you're going to create about a one foot gap between the feet. Put a little bit more weight again on your front foot. Try to keep that, that left foot flat on the ground as you swing. Again all you need is half swings and two thirds swings. Okay, now you may actually have a balance alignment that's somewhere in between those two, so we have one more refinement test here. This time you're going to pull your right foot back about three quarters of the way. That's going to put the toes of your right foot about even with the heel pad of your left foot, and then you're going to create about a nine inch gap between the feet. Again, put a little bit more weight on the front foot. Keep that front foot flat on the ground as you play the shots. And now one of those alignments is going to work best for you. And what we want, we're looking for is which one does our head counterbalance to the action the best? Meaning there's very little side to side action. It will move up and down with ground force, but very little side to side action. We're also going to find one of them is going to give you the most consistent contact time after time and the most consistent ball flight as well. So you can video yourself performing these refinement tests and send me the video so I can analyze them. Or if you do them and you're 100% confident and you know which one fits you, we just stick with it from that point on. All right, Manuel, the next thing I want you to do is every time you go to the driving range to warm up, I want you to warm up with that swing anchor test that we know that fit you. The test now becomes your basic warm-up drill. So if you were somewhere in between, again, you're going to step in. You know, your toes are going to be about three-quarters of the way back. You're going to have about a nine-inch gap. Put a little bit more weight on your, your left foot. And just start with a wedge. It can be a sand wedge or a gap wedge. And just play some partial shots. Remember, the goal of warming up is simply to warm up, to get the body warm. Forget about playing perfect golf shots. We're just trying to get the body more loose and get the body warmed up. And if we do this with our swing anchor alignment in mind, it just keeps reinforcing the fact that that's the alignment that fits your body the best. You know, after you play five or ten shots with a wedge, then you can move up. You know, you can go to another wedge, play five or ten more, and then you can go ahead and move on to a nine iron or eight iron. Again, play five or ten more. So make sure every time you go to the driving range, you warm up with that swing anchor drill so that you keep reinforcing the fact that you are a front anchor golfer and you know exactly to what degree you're a front anchor golfer. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is learn to step into the ball as a front anchor golfer, and you're going to do this with every shot from putter right through to the driver. All right. 
So the way we do this is we step in just like we're going to do the drill. And of course, if you're doing the drill all the time, it's going to be very easy to do this. So you step in like you're going to perform the drill. Now you go left foot forward, right foot back. That puts you in your basic stance alignment. You're going to find out you're going to have a closed stance. All front anchor golfers have a closed stance. If we look at what happens when I stand with 50-50 balance, my shoulders are square. When I shift weight onto my front foot, my shoulders open up. If I close my stance, then that squares my shoulders back up. It's more important that your chest and your shoulders are squared to the line than it is your feet. So Ben Hogan was a front anchor golfer. He had a closed stance. Again, all front anchor golfers really need to play with a closed stance. So again, we step in like we're going to do the drill. We go left, then we go right. It gives us our basic stance. Now from here, I want you to bump your hips forward. That does two things for you. Number one, gets the right weight distribution with more weight on your front foot. And secondly, it helps you get the proper secondary tilt in your golf swing. So we need to have secondary tilt in the golf swing so that we can swing down plane as we're approaching the golf ball. So once you've warmed up and you're ready to start uh, playing full shots, I want you to make sure you step into the ball this way every time. Step in like you're going to do the drill. Left and right. Bump the hips forward. Now go ahead and swing. Okay, now, when you bump the hips forward, you'll find that if you bump them too far forward, you may feel tension in your hips and your back. Or if you have too wide a stance and you try to bump your hips forward, you're going to feel tension in your hips and your back. So make sure your stance is narrow enough so that when you bump your hips forward, everything is still comfortable. Okay, the next thing is notice as I go to the top of the backswing, I'm still maintaining that front anchor balance. I got a lot of pressure inside the ball of my left foot. And instead of drifting in my golf swing, I'm staying very front anchor. Now from here, as I come down through the ball, I maintain that front anchor alignment. Okay? It's really important that you feel the pressure under the left foot, that you maintain that pressure as you go to the top of the backswing. You're going to use that pressure to push up off the ground and get better ground force and better verticals in your golf swing as you deliver your swing. But for now, let's just get that, that stepping into the ball correctly and make sure we maintain that alignment up to the top of the backswing. 